Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica Sanchez. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for this video, and don't forget to hit that bell button to receive a notification every time I post a new video. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about my makeup on a budget freelance suitcase. I had to stop and say every single word because this is like my 50th time recording it and I'm bringing everything I can to you guys. I'm bringing the energy up. Pump it, pump it, pump it up, pump it up. But anyway, so we're going to be getting into this video and this is going to be a voiceover. So I'm just letting you guys know beforehand. So please be patient with me. I hope you guys like this video and please stick around to the end of the video because I have two questions from my uh, followers on Instagram that I am going to be answering. Thank you guys so much and hope you enjoy this video. Alrighty guys, so we are finally getting into the freelance makeup artist suitcase on a budget, which is my suitcase that I'm very proud of. I'm giving you a little montage of it. So for starters, I always make sure to have a box of disposable face mask especially now with the coronavirus i want to make sure that i take care of myself and my clients if they do not have a mask with them usually it's not a problem they're very safe with me and i appreciate that and now into this plastic bag that i have cotton balls uh, a roll of paper towels hand sanitizer and a um, epa solution bottle I did misplace, well, I actually broke the other bottle, so it's an empty bottle as of right now, and I didn't get to fill it up. And for the next item, I have a little mirror for my clients to check themselves out. Sometimes we're in a room that there's not a accessible mirror, so I have to have, I like to keep that in handy. And for the next section, it's in my little Mexican bag that one of my uncles gave me. Thank you so much for it. And then the little part, I always make sure I bring a black eyeliner and a little pair of tweezers because for some reason, those items I always misplace. And for the bigger section of the bag, here I go taking out most of my eyeshadow palettes. I typically have more and I usually like to talk to the client to make sure to to make sure I don't bring everything because it is quite like a drag to bring like every single palette and I want to make sure that it's not too heavy on me especially like trying to make sure I take care of them so as you can see I pulled out the subculture palette conspiracy palette Jacqueline Hill palette the Jacqueline Hill Vault collection here goes I believe one of my blush palettes which is a Morphe brand I absolutely love this range a bronzer palette from Morphe, Love That Rage, a RCMA palette, a concealer palette. I love, love, love RCMA. Very good products. And my Juvia's Place palettes. Absolutely I love them. And now for my right side of the suitcase, I'm going to be bringing out this little makeup bag. And in this bag, I always have my little makeup removers, which is at the top section. I always make sure to bring quite a few a Laura Mercier blush, a Fenty Beauty bronzer, and my favorite, favorite powder, which is the Derma Blend Pro Translucent Powders. Absolutely love that brand. Very good for weddings, quinceañeras, for an all-day wear. And now opening the second section of this bag, you could see all my foundations, most of my concealers. Why well, I should say most of my concealers and foundations. It's just quite a few of my collection. I go from um, products from Too Faced to um, Lancome Cosmetics and also you could see in there MAC Cosmetics and I believe also Maybelline as well that I do the ranges and oh, oh love me some drugstore brands you guys <laughs> yeah so then Maybelline it. I always make sure to have a good range of foundation shades I don't necessarily like to work with all high-end products i love my drugstores as well and for the next section i'm gonna be bringing out this little holographic pink bag that i typically have my primers in there i'm pulling out the milk hydro grip primer that i was that i'm going to be mentioning at the end of this video the uh, benefit pore filler one the ColourPop cosmetics eyeliners that i carry in different colors depending on the mood for my clients, 
a dip brow uh, pomade from Morphe, which I have quite a few of them. Um, now digging in for my um, eyelash glues from AOA from Miss A. Absolutely love the products. They're about $1.50 each. The Benefit Bad Girl Bang uh, Mascara. Absolutely love that mascara. The AOA eyeliners. Very good product. Uh, also a dollar from Miss A. The Morphe eyebrow pencil. Also some glitter liners that I have. Um, some pair of scissors to cut any kind of um, ends on eyelashes and the eyelash curler and now I have this little Mexican fan I absolutely love one of my aunts gave this to me from Mexico and I use it so whenever after I apply the setting spray I could fan their face it feels so good super super convenient for me and for this next little bag I have all of my eyelashes well some of our eyelashes my AOA wonder blenders a Eiler Lux Silk Pair of Lashes, the pair of lashes that I really like the most, to be honest, um, some individual lashes from Laredo, Texas that I got downtown in the downtown area, love that, a Morphe setting spray, the makeup brush cleanser from Sephora, the um, liquid makeup remover, and the Clinique instant brush cleaner, which I absolutely love and also another extra Morphe setting spray. So guys, I just wanted to thank you very much for sticking around to see my suitcase that I take for freelance. And also before I forget, I also do take my ring light. As of right now, my brother-in-law is using it to record his videos. Don't forget to check him out. I will leave his link down in the description below. Awesome guys, well thank you so much for sticking around and before I end this video for my closing our remarks with the two questions from my followers, I didn't realize until after I recorded this video and did the voiceover that I didn't include my brushes, but technically they're not located in my suitcase when I go do makeup. I always take a purse with me or a little backpack. I always put them in like a little clear plastic bag or a Ziploc just to maintain the shape of them. And I put them in my purse because of that. So with the suitcase right now, I, I don't have a like professional suitcase. I'm using what I have due to, you know, being a freelance makeup artist on a budget. And I'm just, you know, my work speaks for itself. They really appreciate and they see the struggle, but they know that I am worth it. So I want to appreciate every single person that's either came to my studio or allowed me to go into the house set up there to do their makeup. I appreciate you guys so much and I love you guys so much. All right guys, so thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. And I'm gonna be going ahead and answering my two uh, subscribers slash followers on Instagram's questions. So for the first question is, um, she's asking, what's your story of Makeup by Moni B? Which is now, fortunately, I'm so proud of myself. Now my Instagram handle is Sanchez Beauty Bar. So, I will leave that in the description down below. Make sure you guys follow my work and I hope to be hearing from you guys soon. Give me your feedback. I would love to hear it. Video prior to this, I was talking, I'll link it down below as well, um, about my story behind like how I started, um, how I came about with my business as a freelance makeup artist. The passion of makeup came through just painting on canvases and I translate that to somebody's face and you know I work from there so if you want to hear more about my experience of how I came about and being me as an artist go ahead and check out my other video my second uh, question is what primers do you recommend for sensitive skin this is a great question because I myself actually have sensitive skin especially some acne that I every once in a while come through I've been drinking a lot of water lately, so my skin's been looking pretty good. But other than that, some um, primers and some uh, makeup products do really like hurt my skin really bad due to, this, due to the sensitivity. I would recommend the Milk, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Really love that one. I feel like it's very, very hydrating. I myself have oily to combination skin. I believe more combination skin, oily in my T-zones and dry around the rest of my face. So it's a really good primer for that. 
I haven't really gone into too deep of primer speaking. Of course, when I do my client's makeup, it's way different. I make sure I ask them about their skin, see how their um, face is, see how it reacts to the skin. I always make sure to ask, but usually on my sensitive clients, I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I believe that's what it's called, but yeah. So I wanna thank these ladies for asking their questions thank you so much and hopefully soon for the next video i can get even more questions and i just want to say i really do appreciate everybody who has been helping me out with like palettes with little things on the side that could be like setting sprays brushes little hints and little tips and tricks and i would love to know more so if you want to comment down below what your tips and tricks are how you set up your suitcase let me know down below so yeah guys i want to appreciate everybody for sticking around do not forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button for this and i'll catch you on the next video bye